Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Ballymoon Castle episode 12. And uh, just a quick heads up, face cam will be coming back. It, the, the camera I got was old and it's unfortunately it's broken. Uh, so, but now I know you guys like it, it will be coming back to the channel. I'm gonna get one ordered, so don't panic. Uh, anyhow, back to it. Uh, I've done a little bit of work since the last episode, a, l a small amount, I don't like, I like to show you guys everything I do, but we did some mowing up at the castle and, you know, to be brutally honest, it, it took a while uh, to collect it and everything with a little wagon because we've only got new new stuff at the moment, uh, sorry, we've only got old equipment, so basically what we did was I cleared the, the castle field and as I was clearing the castle field I had the harvester set away on 18 which you guys saw so we've got the harvest in now and then what I did was this is out of field out of the castle that we mowed and I've turned it into silage uh, so we've got a bit of silage and then we'll start filling this bunker and what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just going to sell some of that silage and I've also got the harvest to sell because we're down to like 14,000 because we bought that other new tractor I had to buy a, a bit of equipment to sort out the uh, the bunker the bunker that's what I'm talking about so we're going to head back over to Oh, I had to buy this big stupid bucket as well make it a bit quicker what I should have done is I should have stuck it in a bloody in that bunker there to save us having to run back to the farm each time so I'm just gonna do 15 minutes or so selling a bit of silage then we are gonna pick up the hay uh, the, the straw sorry on that field 18 and then we can get that cultivated and seeded. Uh, I want to harvest 19, uh, sorry, 17 I think I want to harvest as well. 17 or 19, whichever one needs harvesting. Uh, I want to harvest them next, that next, and then we can seed and grow all the fields together. Uh, I think that'll be better. So I'm not bothered I'm quite happy to sell all of yeah I'm quite happy to sell all of uh, the silage we just need money uh, I'm getting around about six thousand pound a trailer obviously we've only got a small trailer so I'm gonna do another trailer load which is about three scoops uh, that'll get us back up to about 20 grand uh, I think there's about two or three trailers in in the pit in the bunker there's about three trailers to come out of there but we also need to get rid of some barley as well <coughs> whenever that's on great demand I'll have a look uh, I'll also let you guys know about the up and coming live stream I'm getting so my wife's got a, a shift in now so we're sorting it out when she can drop me off at her mum and dad's which is you know it's, it's about three hour drive away so it's but I want to keep the live streams coming to the channel up until I move because once I move obviously the live streams will be daily uh, and that'll be not a problem so I could really do with like buying a telehandler but we just can't afford it if I'm going to be brutally honest. So I had to buy a bigger bucket for the uh, little tractor because it was just going to take too long. So I bought a big a big bucket, he holds about 4,000 uh, and obviously we've only got a small trailer at the moment as well so
but it takes about three three scoops so I thought we'll just spend the first 15 minutes of the, oh, of the episode just getting a bit of money in we're desperate for it uh, we've got I mean we haven't got loads of silage don't get me wrong but that's what that's one cut out the field uh, which I don't think is bad well, I might get four scoops in actually yeah, one cut out the field, I thought that was not bad. I didn't bother trying to make the the bunker right nice and neat because, well, I thought I'm, I'm only going to ferment it and get it straight sold. So, the way it is, the way it is with silage is, it's, you know, it's pretty much, as long as you've got the cutting equipment, it's free. <laughs> right, so we'll head back over to the... Uh, the cell point. I may as well take a free. Come on. I want it pick up. Oh, have I got the? I think I've got the bucket tilted. There we go. I may as well take this with us as well. A full bucket. So we've got a trailer and a full bucket to sell. I had to put a weight on it because the bucket uh, just tipped it over. I'm still I'm waiting for a new keyboard as well, a little one for, for the rig. Right. But no, knowing I was going to bloody sell it, what I should have done was just put it in the bunker over at the bloody BGA plant, but I've already made the mistake now, so <laughs> I can't go backwards. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we're that desperate on money, but we could, to be fair, we could lend money, uh, which we will do in the future. We'll need to get another loan, but we've not really got any stable income at the moment, so... I thought, well, get some silage sold, we'll try and get ourselves back up to that 30, 40 grand mark. I've got this barley to sell as well. So, we'll get, we're getting there. Where's that tractor at? Here he comes. Get this sold. I'm not. I'm not bothering putting it in the bunker because we're literally just scooping it straight in here. So we're back up. We just got two grand for that. It's about we've got sixteen and a half thousand there. So if I stick this in, we've got eighteen thousand. So we're getting about fifteen hundred per bucket. I thought this might get us up to that 20 grand mark. scoop left so we're at 19 whoa we're at 21 three now so we're back up to that 20 grand mark I don't want to end up with no money <laughs> so We 
and get cleaned up there. It's us. Tractor wants to wash, doesn't it? Right, it's 22,000 of that. I'm now going to go and check the prices for barley before we go and start collecting straw. We're going to jump over and barley's 700 per trailer. That's not bad. Corn, we've got a trailer of corn. We've actually got. So what I might do, uh, because we're not actually that bothered about having. Yeah, I'm not actually that bothered about having uh, any store with it, food at the moment. Not with food, but sorry. I'm not bothered about having anything stored, as in, uh, like barley or anything, because we've got a bit of silage left there. There'll be at least 12 grams worth of silage left. So, if we get stuck with no money, we've got enough to do that. Uh, the job here on the left, doing a harvest. But we're looking at half an hour for 11 grand. Not that bothered at the moment. So I'm going to go and trailer some crops. So this trailer's got well, 1500 it takes. That one's 2100. 35 grand. What we like on the modded trailers. So that one takes 32. But it's expensive to buy. Fourteen hundred. That's thirty-two. Joskins. Twenty-three and eighteen. Twenty-eight. Fifteen grand that holds twenty. Just trying to look at what's going to be the best trailer to own. We're definitely going to need to buy another trailer. So that'll be worth about twenty grand if we sell it. So we don't. I don't want to just be stuck with one trailer, you know. Uh, so if we sell them two together, we're... Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know, I don't think we need two trailers at the moment. So if we sell that one and we sell that we also don't need that at the moment so that raises a bit of cash and then we want really something like that that holds 21 that holds 31 and that's 35,000 but we're gonna struggle to pull that uh, that holds 32 Chaskin one holds twenty eight and it's twenty three thousand so we don't need wide tyres with load and wall without. We can put the load and wall on afterwards. Right. We'll go with that for now. So that that holds 28 which is nearly double what that trailer we just sold holds 
So I'm I'm fairly happy with that. So we'll go and collect that. We're just gonna leave that there. Alright, we're gonna go and check. That's better. I forgot we've got the gearbox mod. Sorry guys. When I was just when I was just done on my own, I, I just turned it off just because I was doing a lot of reversal and all that and I was just trying to get cracked on. I don't want every episode to be the same thing like if we're doing the, like before when we were doing the grass, we were mowing. That could have took us two or three episodes to get it collected and, co you know. Uh, so I just didn't really see the point. That's why I thought I'll just come back when it's finished. And then. I want to ferment that uh, silage, so we had something to do in today's episode. Sold a bit of silage. We're gonna go and sell off our barley. Oh, hang on. We've got to wait on. I mean, we're 180 horsepower, so it should pull. It should pull all right, like. Right then. So. We'll sell some barley first. God, it fills quick this, doesn't it? This is a harvest from 18, this. So... Uh, I don't think we'll get another trailer out of that. No. Uh, the barley's going down in price, but we, we, we do need the money. So where... Where's the sale for the barley? The grain mill. So we'll get whipped round here. No, oh, we're not going to get round there, are we? Oh, that was tight. Oh, no. Come on, tractor. Go on, you can do it. What am I stuck on? Oh, I just want to leave the field, man. Right, we'll go, we'll go that way. We're on our way to the grain mill. We probably won't have any more barley to sell, I would say. I think we had 32 in and we've taken 28 with us, so we'll leave 4,000 in there. We don't need to sell every little glass drop. Oh, 
I keep driving up there through that gate, but I keep forgetting we don't actually need to. It pulls not bad this, you know, it's not a bad setup. We've got rain forecast as well. We're not actually... Uh, oh, also, this camera here, you can see the reflection on the screen off the window, but I can't see it. <laughs> uh, so, I apologise for that. But... Uh, I, I was... I had planned on ordering blackout blinds and all that. Uh, well, actually, tell a lie, I had actually ordered blackout blinds, but... I cancelled the order because we're moving. Oh, I was son, I was already pulled out. What are you doing? He should have stopped. I looked and there was nothing there. And then I pulled out. And then he ran into me. That was not my fault. Yeah, so I actually phoned up and cancelled the order. Uh, so, because we're moving house, I'd rather just order some nice blinds for the new place. And, uh, and we'll get some better lighting. I mean, the lighting in here is actually quite good. It's, it's a big double LED six foot strip light. And it's LED, so it gives a really nice light. But my camera just, it's my camera more a fault than anything, uh, which is gonna get changed. And the good thing is, I'll be at my wife's, well, we'll see how much we get for this. I'll be at my wife's parents, and I'm going to keep my setup there, and I'm rebuying all new stuff. So, the good thing on that front, good amount of money for that. What did we get for that, 15 grand? I think. Which we got for that? That hasn't gone through yet. Right, back to the farm. Uh, yeah, the good thing is we're going to be staying at my wife's parents, and uh, I'm going to be, apart from the computers, I'm going to be setting up the new house when we get it. I'm going to still be recording at my wife's parents on my other setups. The, my rig will be there and my desk is going to be there as well and then I'm going to be getting a new desk, a new rig, new monitors so I can set all that up at the new house get all the new furniture in and built, LEDs on, you know, get it absolutely lovely, photos up get it ready just to move in but I can still record episodes every day at my wife's parents house so it's going to work out pretty well to be honest yeah after we bought that Joss controller I don't know how much we actually had left so, I, I don't know how much that harvest has is, is, uh, cost us. Not cost us, but how much we got for it. Uh, so, what's this? Yeah, I think I think we got about twenty five thousand for that harvest. So I said we were going to spend fifteen minutes getting rid of some of this stuff, but I'm going to go and grab a trailer load of wheat while I'm here. It's jobs that need doing. I might uh, get. I'm gonna, we're going to treat ourselves to some sheep soon. Next episode or two, I need to get a, a trailer and uh, get some sheep. Right, so yeah, we've only got 4,000 left on the barley. What we've got 
quite a bit of weight, so we'll get some weight in. And uh, ah, there we go. Finances. Sold vehicles twenty seven. Uh, property harvest income. So today's harvest income we've got nineteen thousand biogas income I've got seventeen thousand because I, I obviously already sold a bit of silage so we've got twenty grand off that harvest that we just got and then we're gonna take this to where are we taking it? It's going up. So the grain mill seven oh seven. Right, so we're gonna run that to there. Uh, where's my other tractor? Right, so So this Ford we're gonna stick on. I don't think there's any point in rolling up the straw to be honest. Right, so we're gonna stick that on there. Right, so that's ready to go. And we're going to take this to... I think we're going to the grain mill. I like this Joskin trailer. I quite like it. I would buy another one of them. Uh, yeah, this is going to the grain mill. So we're back off to the... <coughs> back off to the grain mill. And then we'll come back and get 18 cleared up and get it seeded. Uh, now we're still going up at the. Are we going up at the transport place as well? Yeah. Grain mill's still worth more though. So off to the grain mill. Come on, get some space up. Right, so we're going to go this way this time. <laughs> but yeah, so all's going well and, you know, there's still plans in the works and that as well, guys. It's still, I've got a, like a business call tomorrow with a company uh, that deals with simulators. So hopefully we can get backed on there. And I think they do like, uh, they give you like a discount code and that as well for your subscribers as well. So... That, that will be handy and if I can get a discount on buying a rig that you know that'll be good for the new room as well. The biggest thing with the new rig, don't get me wrong, I'm all for DIY but I just need something as adjustable as possible. Because I wanna I wanna wall mount the TV in the new room and I wanna get a, like a nice unit and put an Xbox and a PlayStation on there as well. Uh, so I need the rig to be as compact as possible but also to be as good so I think we're going to run 32 inch monitors not TVs uh, and 32 is still a good size it's smaller than what I'm using now but I still think it's a, a pretty pretty good size and then we'll get a monitor stand which is adjustable so on games like this I can open the monitors up a bit on racing games I can shut them a bit so something I've always wanted uh, and something I would have done anyway Right, there we go. We're here. Right. We're still going up in price. So I think we'll just... Where's 
What's that for? That oh, there it is. Right, so while that's going up in price, we'll get some of this picked up. We'll start bailing eventually once we've got some cash, but we don't have any money at the moment, so... Uh, we've got 20 grand off that one trailer of barley, which was sold at 700. And uh, the wheat's going up in cost, so... We'll uh, see how it goes. I don't know if this is worth rolling up. I don't know. It might. It might actually be worth rolling this up. I know it's due to rain. But uh, I think we'll possibly roll this up. Uh, yeah, so for, for, for the next few days, guys, uh, I'm going to be uploading. Uh, the videos should go, one will go live on the morning. And one will go live uh, on the night time. Uh, not on the night time, on the afternoon. So you'll have one live on the morning, one live on the afternoon. So I think the morning one will be like eight, eight o'clock or so in the morning, between like six and eight in the morning, and then the afternoon one will be sort of between anywhere from that eight. Because I upload them in pairs, so uh, at the moment it seems to be about eight hours each to ten hours each of uploading. So uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm just going to upload from home for now because. I just got that much going on trying to contact people and I am generally busy and then recording as well. Uh, I'm, you know, trying to record as much as I can and like yesterday just getting that field cleaned up and then filling the bunker up and that. I spent about two hours just getting that ready to do this episode so because I wanted it to be a little bit different you know. As soon as that wheat starts to go down in price, we'll go and sell it. Right, so we should be able to hit. Should be able to hit the two rows. Put two into one. Ah, there we go. So that that'll take us. Well. I mean, to be brutally honest, it probably takes about the same time because I'm having to roll this up the same as what I would have to collect it, but... Eh. We'll roll it up, why not? So, yeah, we'll roll it up. I've been using uh, some John Deere tractors on, uh, on my Cobra park farm videos and uh, one of the new John Deere tractors really really a really nice tractor um, uh, yeah anyway really nice tractor I would like to bring a John Deere tractor to this farm because I'm enjoying driving them and it's the first sort of decent mods I've had. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a 730, 7030, which is a premium, that's a good mod, it always has been. So, and then we've got the newer one, which is good. It's about 240 horsepower, I think, 240, 250, which is more than enough for, like, most farmer needs. The big tractors, you know, the sort of five, six hundred horsepower, really, really good, but... You only really tend to need one per farm, unless you're running like a big American farm where everything's just massive equipment. Well, 
of these rows are a, a bit spread out, aren't they? Just, just hitting them. Excellent. I'll keep, we'll keep an eye. That's gone up nearly 50 quid. So it's actually worth the wait. I'm not desperate. I'm going to sell it today. Uh, you know, but I'm not. I'm, I, I'm not. I don't need to sell it cheap. Uh, the barley's actually gone down in price, so 700 ish is alright for barley. I mean, if you need money, you need money. You can wait for the. You can wait for. Uh, yeah, you can wait for great demand all you like, but if you're desperate for cash, you're desperate for cash. I was getting to the point where I didn't have any. Did we just roll? Oh yeah, here we go, where are you? <coughs> this is where we are now. I couldn't work out, yeah, we're on our fourth row, that's right. We've got a good few bits we've missed on here with a harvester, but we did just pay a guy to do it. Uh, because it's like four or five hundred quid the person want to do your field and if you can go away and make more money like I made well I sold 20 grand's worth of silage which I made while he was harvesting this field so it you've got to use your head a bit if you if you spend a lot of time doing something when you could literally pay a worker to do it you can't pay a worker to you know rope and you know collect all the grass and that you, you can't pay a worker for that so if you can pay a worker to do a bit of harvesting it means you can be away making money doing something else so it's it's certainly not i know some people hate using workers and i know some people see it as like cheating or something like that but you've got to use your head a bit you can make a lot of money by using a worker but it's using it to your advantage instead of just using it to do everything uh, you know, more, most things on the farms just take time. That's the biggest thing. It takes your time to do. I mean, like, you probably notice I spend half my life just driving around. <laughs> Excellent. couple of more rows to go we're just gonna check 747 that's not going up anymore now right so we're gonna hop back to here and we're gonna sell this sixty five thousand we've got now so we've got another 20 grand which is cool. Uh, Bali's. Yeah, so. We, oh, there you go. 713 has gone down there after we sold. Which is good. Uh, what side is selling at now? 417. Straw. Straw. We've got a lot of straw. Uh, like, a lot. It's only eighty one pound. It's so cheap. Uh but you know, we can sell it if we need to. We've got a tiny bit of corn in the store but we've got nothing worth shouting about. Right, so we'll get 18 collected and we'll get that stuck in the storage. Uh, which is cool. Stuck on the fence a bit there, but we'll get it. Seven 
So two more passes for this and then uh, we will collect up the straw. Straw's handy to have feed to the animals. Uh, I've probably oh shit. I don't know 19 whether it's worth doing straw but I might just harvest 19 myself uh, and get that done. We've still got a few jobs around the farm we can do. Uh, I mean, we're back up to 60,000, which, to, to, to be honest, I didn't think we, I didn't think we'd get to. We're down to 14,000 today when we started, so we've sold, we've only sold what we made. We, we you know, we, we, we got the harvest in, and, uh, you know, which is great. So, which you can't argue with. Something I haven't really dealt with before is uh, sunflowers. And sunflowers are, are worth the fortune. So I might stick sunflowers in one of the in one of the fields. Uh, Stick the beacons on her. There we go. So we'll pick, we'll go and pick some straw, and then uh, we'll probably whip the harvester out over to uh, eighteen. Uh, no, sorry, over to nineteen. Get that harvested. Uh, which is good. So we've got some straw now to feed to the animals, which is perfect. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna plant some crops that are worth money. Uh, I just need to know what I need to harvest them at. I don't know soybeans and. Uh, sunflowers I've never dealt with them I've never done anything with them so I don't know don't know what harvester I need what you know I don't I don't know if I've got the right equipment for it so we'll go we'll and have a look in the shop once we've uh, we'll, we'll we'll fill this trailer and then we'll go and have a nose in the shop and see what we need because we've got a bit you know 60,000 it's not a lot of money but we've got something uh, Yeah, we made pretty much 40 grand off two fields, you know, two, two harvests, so, and then we made 20 grand off the silage, we sold. So we'll go and stick this in storage. Harvester, love that harvester, it's great. Right, we'll go and jump over to the shop. So it's harvester headers. Ah, so that does sunflower and corn. Normal header does soybeans. So we can do that. So we would need. Is that the one that fits our case? Right, so that that's the case we've got. So I'm uh, sorry, the case, the class. So I'm assuming that header fits. It's tiny, like three meters, man. New Holland one is nine meters, nine, six, 
5.7 ah right so 4.3 so uh, the 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 lower what's that one that's three as well so that's fine it's oh clutch is overheating that So what we'll probably do is 18 will go big and we'll uh, we'll go get some money in on this 18 field. So what we'll probably do next is we'll plant uh, soybeans or sunflowers on it, whatever our seeder will plant. Might need to buy a new seeder. That might be the expensive part. But the biggest thing is you you need a seeder. You know you need to be able to plant crops that's one of the biggest things which is why we sold off a lot of the equipment we didn't need uh, you know so at the end of the day it's something we're desperate for uh, we've got a water trailer for the animals we need an animal trailer to go and buy animals uh, I know you can just go to the shop and buy them but I want to do it as realistically as possible so we'll go and get a, an animal trailer and we'll take that up uh, I need to pick that row up as well. Yeah, we'll go and get an animal trailer and uh, and go and pick some sheep up. We're just going to start small, guys. You know, 10 sheep, something like that. And then we'll work up to 50 and then 150, you know. We'll start small and then go big. Probably go and grab the the case. Right, so what I want to know now, so we know for the next episode what we what you know. You need to know what to aim for. Uh, So that's a corn, so it does, right, so sunflowers, soybeans, corn and sugar beets, we need the other cedar which we don't have yet, which is that one, which is 61,000 to buy for the 6 metre one. I want to do this field with it, so I really don't want to, what's the coon? So what does our, we own, we own that cedar, oh it does soybeans, so we could plant soybeans in here, what's soybeans going for, 1600 and sunflowers around that as well, so we'll do soybeans and sunflowers on our next harvest just why not so that means I can grab my case which is there so we'll go and grab that case and now Stick it on the big old cedar here. This was worth buying this cedar because we've already made our money from it. You know. Right. It's actually set to soybeans as well. Right. So this. Uh, th this seed is not bad because it's got a built-in cultivator on it as well, so it cultivates and seeds at the same time. 
The only thing it doesn't do is fertilise, but we've got a fertiliser and we've got a, a slurry tanker as well, so. I just want to double check, guys, that I've got the, uh, the refill turned off because it's bloody expensive, right. So we need to turn off the... He's going to get cracked on with that, isn't he? Hang on. That's pulling the front end of that thing. Right. It's going to run back over the farm and stick the front weight on this. That Joskin trailer is nice. I like it. Good purchase. Really, really good. Really good because I'm going to keep this game save going for quite a, quite some time because I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, so as we get better, we'll replace it with like newer equipment, you know. Which will be really nice to see, like the old case, which will have, you know, we've got five hours on it on this tractor now. Uh, the Ford's got a couple of hours on it. So as you get up to sort of, you know. 50 60 hours on each equipment you need to get rid of them because they start costing a bloody fortune uh, in maintenance fees right so that's pulling a bit straighter now isn't it yeah, that's pulling straight now. Hey, I love using workers though in the same field as you because you can see them getting cracked on. Look, that's awesome. Right, so we need to get this field cleared while they're seeding, and then we'll come back and fertilise it. So we'll do another ten minutes or so on this field. And then we'll call the episode a day there. Again, we'll try and keep them about an hour at the moment, but once we move, I'm not too worried about time. Uh, and I can do more episodes as well, so that's not really an issue. But, uh, yeah, it'll, co it'll cost us about... 450 quid or so to get that field seeded not an issue we'll make that back so quickly and we the thing is we need to collect the straw to be honest the straw is not worth a lot of money but you need it for your animals but also the uh, the other thing with the straw is even though it's not worth much money we've got so much of it we'd still be able to sell it and make enough money to pay the uh, person who's doing the field so right so we want to get back over to the field get the rest of that straw picked up hey I do really like seeing the workers. I mean, it won't be the same when I move because the reason I like seeing the workers so much is because I can't play online at home. Uh, you know, so... I mean, I th I'm thinking the next time we go to my wife's parents, I'm thinking of renting a server then uh, and start with the server now and I might be able to use it here a little bit but we're not actually to, to be fair we're not going to be here much longer so we're just getting sorted with my wife's work and that and we're getting trying to get cleaned up on that and we're just uh, ordering packing boxes today so we're starting with a big pack my room I mean 
it, there's very little in it now. We'll get all the tractors and things, all the models and all the pictures and that. We'll get all them taken down. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get all them taken down and then get everything boxed. And I'll pretty much just leave this rig. I'll probably take down the two side screens. Uh, I might not. I might just leave it how it is until the day we move. Because the, the actual frame of it is just getting binned anyway. The actual, you know, the, the, the rig itself I'm taking to my wife's parents uh, just so I've got a rig to use so we can actually build the new rig and everything at the new house. Uh, but we'll see. If a company wants to sponsor me and send me a rig straight out, then we'll just build the rig in my wife's parents and we'll do a, a review on it and uh, say, you know, test it out. The I'll, I'll, one thing I, I'll do and I'm very honest about anything and uh, so if I do, do have to do reviews on anything it'll be an honest review and it'll be is it worth it or not. I mean I've spent my last five years gaming on something made out of wood covered in bird crap that I found in a shed so you know I, I couldn't afford to spend six you know to eight hundred pound on a simulator so at the time so if I am going to spend that sort of money on a simulator I mean, I should get a discount a little bit anyway, just for having the stuff on the channel, which which I think is correct. Uh, but if I am going to spend that sort of money anyway on a frame, it's got to be better than what I'm in. And what I'm in is going to be quite hard to beat, although it's not adjustable, but it is. I mean, it's absolutely, <laughs> it's not bolted to the wall or nothing. It's freestanding. And it's just, I mean, I can't even, I could, I could jump up and down and it doesn't move. It's absolutely rock solid, so it'll be interesting to see how good the, the bot stuff is compared to what I've got. I know it's going to be better than what I've got anyway, purely on the front of it's adjustable, and mine just isn't. I mean, I can't adjust it, but I'd have to drill new holes and things like that, which realistically isn't adjustable. I'll just finish that field and uh, get ready for seeding, uh, not seeding, fertilising. We will end up baling because I really enjoy baling. And uh, I also want to manually load up the trailers as well. I love how the clutch works in this, it does work really well the clutch. But yeah, I want to manually load trailers best I can uh, you know use some use the tractors to put the bales on the trailers and that as well but we're just not we can't afford a baler at the moment we just don't have the money we need to get another two or three harvests in then we'll start to have the money I mean I'm kind of hoping the soybean harvest and the uh, sunflower harvest I should bring a fair bit of money in like uh, I mean, we, we, we just, for a trailer load of barley, right, we got 20 grand. It was 700 pound. Uh, well, I don't know what it is, 700 pound per ton or whatever, I don't know. 700 pound anyway is what it's valued at. And for a trailer load at 700, a 28,000 trailer load, we got uh, 20,000 pound. Well, soybeans uh, sitting around about between 1,300 and 1500 so we can get it when it's 1500 I mean that's more than doubles that's 40 grand a trailer uh, we're gonna get a, a trailer out I would say we'll get a full trailer out of this field and then I'm gonna do sunflowers in the other fields the other two fields so even if I get a trailer out of them two that's 80 grand we've got 60 grand now and I, I don't I don't intend on spending any of that well, I might have to spend a little bit to buy a cedar for the, uh, we could just soybean harvest the whole field but when you sell it the price goes down. 
But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And uh, we, we, we also need to fill up a bunker as well. We'll fill the other bunker up and we've got a bit of silage there for, for animals but I don't think we're at the state now where we can get cows yet. We just don't have uh, enough supplies in for the cows. Oh, I'm going to hit that wall. got that wrong. There we go. She's away. Just, we'll just leave that just controller there. I'll put it away next time. I'm going to stick this tractor away because we don't need it anymore. Not on today's episode. We're going to go and get our little tractor out of the garage. Uh, we may as well shut them doors. Our little tractor's tucked away hiding in here. This is our little uh, tractor for seeding, uh, for fertilising. I think there's still some fertiliser in this, so we won't have the... Uh, the cost of fertilising. Ah, oh, yeah, there's still fertiliser in this, which is awesome. This, I love this thing. It's quite nice not. Well, we've got a roof. Well, we haven't got a roof. It's quite. It's quite nice not having a roof. Look at that. Proper old tractor. I'm gonna leave the game running after I've end this episode anyway just just I'm gonna let that guy finish his job uh. right so pick this up we're gonna head to field 19 uh, yeah we're gonna head over to field 19 and uh, get ready for getting that harvest in I'm probably just gonna harvest this myself uh, yeah we'll well, maybe just get this. I'll need to do a pass around the outside anyway. So we'll get this set up down here. We can do a quick pass around the outside. Awesome. So we'll end this here, guys. Uh, I'm going to let that guy do his work, but apart from that, I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, We'll see how it goes. I've got Cobra Park Farm coming next uh, next episode, but uh, I might set, I might get this field harvested, but I don't know. But there we go. We're sitting at sixty six thousand, uh, which I'll show you guys here. Uh, where's our finance? Yeah, so finances. Oh, you just can't see because of the webcam. Hang on. Right, there you go, 66,000 here, 
So j just to prove that I'm not like you know w w I'm not cheating. I'm not that type of person. But harvest income we got forty grand in. Bio gas plant we got seventeen thousand, which was only like two trailer loads. So we'll maybe get another trailer load or two down to there at some point. Uh, new vehicles. Oh, we bought a new trailer. Uh, yeah. Apart from that, we've got wage payment which is including what I paid the guy to harvest because we're on the same day so you know at the end of the day for 466 quid so he, he, I think he's needy he's needy done as well I don't know where he is, where is he? there you see he's needy done so I would say about 500 quid is going to, 500, 600 pounds to get this field done and it's going to get us way more money than that in, so, anyway, I'll end it there, uh, I'll not bother moving the webcam back, so again guys, if you're new, go and check out the other content on the channel, we two videos a day, live streams every two weeks, we do four, five, five hour live streams, last time I wasn't that good, because to be fair, I didn't feel that well, and I was quite... Uh, worn out and tired uh, but we did live stream for 14 hours one day and then we did a couple of hours the next day and so forth so anyway go and check out the facebook group uh, bear in mind the facebook group is a community it's not just farming related it is everything related you know uh, war games you know uh, truck games you know truck sim driving games it's for everybody it's for whatever you want to put on there is welcome you know, for getting help, getting advice, computer builds, whatever you want, just ask if, if anyone on there can help you. I think we're about 96 members, so we're, we're doing well, just over a month. We've got nearly 100 members, I'm really happy with that. That's more than a member a day, so I'm more than happy with that. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, guys, hit that like button, it means a lot to me, it means you're liking the series, which is great. Also, if you don't like it, hit the dislike button, feel free. However, please leave a comment and just let me know why you didn't like it. And at least I can then improve the content. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.